So for homework one, we have a data set that I have connected here to the model. And here I look at the types of the model. And I've, I read the values. And we can see a few things here. Is one, um, what we're trying to predict is whether or not the customer of the cell phone plan will leave or stay the, uh, the plan. We have some continuous uh, attributes here, income, uh, overage, and then we have some others here too. Um, and some of the, the types here look incorrect. So for example, uh, this here we have these values of average, satisfactory, unsatisfactory, very satisfactory, and very unsatisfactory. Now these are ordinal uh, values, and this one also here is uh, ordinal value. But the order in which those values are um, ordered are incorrect. And let me show you. So um, one of the first steps that we do when we're looking at data is we do a, just a data audit. You can run this. And we've talked about this in class several times. Okay, so let me look at this uh, reported satisfaction here. Okay, so here we have the order in which these values are, which is uh, average satisfactory, but the order is incorrect. Correct? You know, see, um, it's an alphabetical order, and that's not the, the correct value. Really, this one should be um, very unsatisfactory, should be at one. Um, side and the very satisfactory should be on the extreme and these really aren't um, close together when we're talking about the order um, so it should be a very satisfactory satisfactory then it should be average then it should be unsatisfactory then we should have very unsatisfactory so we're gonna have to reorder these values here so that it will be in the correct uh, ordinal So what I'm doing here is I'm using the reclassify, although this has nothing to do with classification. It just has to do with renaming the values. And here I do this. Um, oops, let me show you the one. Okay, this one we were just talking about. Um, so here, in order to kind of fool the system into to thinking that it's to the computer, uh, these are just words. It, it doesn't know that this um, satisfactory and very satisfactory are very similar to one another. So we have to tell the computer that uh, this is the order in which it is. It's This is the first one, this is the second one, the third, fourth, and the fifth. Okay, and I'm doing the same thing for this uh, value here. I'm just reclassifying it. So, um, have, have you considered changing the plans? Well, no. I never thought about it, perhaps, considering and actively looking into it. Okay. And now we're going to go here, and um, now we have the correct order. We input these, but now we don't, as we talked about in class, now we do not include the uh, other attributes that were not um, in the correct order of the values. Remember this is the original. Okay, now we're going to go and we're going to partition the data into a training and then a validation. A validation is sometimes called tuning set. So we have 70-30. Okay, we're going to build the model with 70% uh, of the data. We're going to validate it. Uh, we're going to examine it with 30%. We're going to choose the best um, um, level of complexity as far as this decision tree for example and then we're going to use that best model that we've determined based on the validation set and then we're actually going to implement that model with the test set so here I would look at model and let's go to um, okay I'll go to expert and we're going to look at the level of complexity here the pruning severity so if we have no uh, pruning, and this means it's a very complex decision tree that nothing has been pruned. If we have, uh, f let's say, 100%, this is on the other extreme. This is not complex at all. Uh, this just has uh, just the 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 one. Um, that, well, there's no branches to this because everything's been pruned away except for the one um, parent or the one node. Okay. Sorry, I should disconnect this. We're not using boosting. Okay, so it should be expert 100. 
So let's uh, let's start it at zero. You run the model, see how well you do. Okay, and now we're going to connect this to the analysis, and I'm going to run this. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to report both the values of the training. Um, in in for this for the homework, I said just um, report the uh, accuracy. So um, I've created a spreadsheet here. Okay. And the spreadsheet, what this is, is it looks at the pruning value. And so I have pruning values for zero. Um, this is very complex, all the way up to very uh, not complex whatsoever. The decision tree is basically pruned away. So we started at zero here. So let's report the values of the training. 72.226. And then we're going to do the validation also. And we're going to report this value here, 69.95. Okay. So now we've just reported these two values, and I've connected up a chart to this information, a plot, a scatter plot. And we're going to do this uh, once more. Let's let's bring this all the way to let's say 50. Okay, and let's run the model again. Okay, we're going to run it down here. Okay, so now we have another model. I'm going to update this uh, spreadsheet here once again. So this is 72.15, and this here is 70.06. Okay, so we're going to do this for the other values of um, pruning, and somewhere we're going to see the accuracy peaks for the validation uh, or, or tuning set. And so this is the validation. So at some point we're going to see some type of a peak, and then it's going to start to decrease. Wherever it peaks, uh, that means that it's uh, you know the best model according to the validation set, and we're going to use that value. Um, so let's say it's 80, for example. Let's say we have a, a 73, you know, here, and maybe this is 72. Um, so here at this point, this has been determined to be the best, and this is just for example, it's been determined to be the best uh, value of level of complexity for the decision tree, and so then we would test. Uh, we could test all the values, but um, let's just test this particular value here, and then we're going to come up with some type of a value, and then you know let's say it's 72, and so then we would plug that in, and this is what we should report in the homework. We should report um, you know some type of a, a nice table that uh, represents the information very easily, and we should also report some type of uh, visualization just to be able to um, see that visually. And the same thing I did here for the SVM. I have some different levels of C, the complexity, and we would do the same thing. We would um, train with some um, C value. We would examine the validation or tuning set, and we would pick the value that maximizes the accuracy or minimizes the error term. And then we report that value, and we would connect up the test set, and we would um, implement that model. Thanks.